As a youngster, I wasn't just obsessed with watches. I also had a small obsession with anything remote controlled. And I think it stems from my sixth birthday. I remember my sixth birthday very, very clearly. My parents bought me a beautiful Porsche 944 remote controlled car. This thing was stunning. I remember unboxing. I remember my dad putting batteries in it. And I remember my dad then testing it for me and driving it down some stairs and breaking it. I also remember the disappointment that I felt having never been given the opportunity to drive that beautiful Porsche 944. And ever since then, I've just been obsessed with anything RC. I got heavily into drones quite a few years ago. I've always kept my toe in when it comes to RC cars. And I recently bought one from AliExpress that has blown my mind. I reached out to patrons recently and said, I bought this thing recently, it goes 42 miles an hour and it cost me 90 pounds. Should I make a video on this thing? And they pretty much all said, absolutely 100%. So in this video, I'm going to show you this awesome little RC car. I'm going to run through all the specifications and I'm just going to tell you all about it because I think it represents incredible value for money and it's actually suitable for really, really young children. There's a feature on this car that I've never seen on any car before, which means my five-year-old daughter can have a go, which is good because well, it just feels a bit weird going out and driving this thing on my own. So now I drag my daughter with me and she has the first couple of minutes with it and then I have the rest of the time. So yeah, let me run through the specs. So it is a ready to run RC car, which means it comes, you know, pre-built, pre-assembled. You don't have to do anything other than charge up the battery. It is a proper four wheel drive RC car. It has a brushless motor. Um, the old RC cars that we had back in the day had brushed motors. They're less efficient. They're slower. Brushless motors these days are incredible, much faster, much smoother. And um, this one, like I said, um, I've seen videos on this thing. I haven't tested the speed myself, but I've seen videos on this car on youtube where people have managed to get it up to 68 kilometers per hour stock straight out the box just put the lipo battery in it um and yeah it comes with a lipo battery for those of you not familiar with lipo batteries um there is a little bit of danger involved with lipo batteries and um, i've been handling them now for a number of years because my drones use lipo batteries they have to they pack a lot of punch lipo batteries but they contain lithium polymer which is very very flammable so if you just damage one of those batteries a little bit at any given moment it can burst into flames so i keep all my <laughs> i'm really selling it aren't i i keep all my batteries in a sort of fireproof box um, with a bag of sand over it just in case one of them decides to explode um so yeah if you are thinking of picking up an rc car or anything remote controlled in the near future um, make sure you've learned about lipo batteries but anyway it's the lipo batteries in these things that gives them their punch and you can actually buy this car with a brushed motor i'm not sure if it comes with a lipo battery or not um, but you can buy a cheaper version of this um, which is just going to have older technology in it but yeah i would recommend if you're interested in sort of fast little cars like this i would recommend getting the brushless one um, metal chassis metal shock towers metal oil filled shocks metal drive rods um, to each of the four wheels. You've got a fan called electronic speed controller, adjustable wheels. Um, it runs for around eight minutes. And actually the first time I took this thing out, I tested it and I got it to run for about 10 minutes. Although I don't do a lot of um, sort of high speed runs when I'm messing around with cars like this, because usually I'm with my daughter and you know, it's quite dangerous but yeah you can get a decent amount of runtime now um, especially with the lipo technology and the brushless motors um you've got adjustable top speed so there is a oh here's the controller here um there is a button on here a little twizzly thing um, and you can turn the speed right down to slower than walking pace i can literally hand this controller to my daughter and let her take full control of this car and it will literally dribble along and um yeah she loves it and then of course when my dad wants to have a go i just turn it up a little bit and it will do about four miles an hour and then of course when i want to have a go i'll whack it straight up but yeah i've never ever seen that function on any remote control car before where you can slow it down to almost a crawl and um, you can get rock crawlers um, you know which sort of dribble you know dribble along and sort of climb over rocks or whatever 
It almost turns into a rock crawler. It's incredible. It also comes with a balanced charger, which you need for LiPo batteries because it's a two cell LiPo and both cells need to charge equally. So um, the balancing function enables um, that to be well basically monitored during charging and makes sure that one cell isn't being overcharged and one cell being undercharged because if that happens, well, then you can get exploding batteries. Um, so yeah, there are a couple of downsides to this car. Um, there is a little bit of an acceleration delay, um, which is fairly common in you know really really cheap cars. Um, yeah, I mean if you're a sort of very very amateur hobbyist like me, not too much of an issue. Um, if you're a bit more of an enthusiast, then you're not going to like it. But yeah, there is just a little bit of a delay in the throttle, and then the other downside as well, it's just got a lipo battery. Of course, you just have to be careful with those. Um, but yeah, this thing is awesome. Absolutely incredible. It came in a polystyrene box, very simple box, but that's all you need. It was well protected. Um, as you can see, um, mine has been well and truly bashed. Um, yeah, I took it out and um, as soon as it arrived and did some full speed runs, um, flipped it, smashed it up pretty bad. And um, yeah, everything has continued to work. Nothing has bent or broken other than the spoiler. I just took a chunk out of the spoiler, look, but um. Yeah, it takes about three hours to charge. You get about eight or nine minutes, ten minutes runtime, depending on how you drive it. It's amazing. Absolutely incredible. And yeah, now that my daughter's five years old, um, I can take her out with me. And, you know, that is my excuse to, well, feel a bit okay about driving these things out in public. <laughs> yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. And um, yeah, if you want me to review more cars like this, um, feels a bit weird reviewing a non-watch item, but still, I just couldn't help myself. It's so good. So, so good. I've been so impressed with this thing. Um, if you were to buy a car like this from a brand like Low C or Schumacher or Traxxas or Armour, um, you're looking at three times the price. So... Yeah, when you uh, start to compare this thing to other cars of an equal specification by all the big brands, um, it's about a third of the price. So it's just incredible value. If you want more of this sort of stuff, let me know. If not, um, you know, depending on how much, you know, of yay or nay I get, you might see some more. I have actually ordered a couple more cars. Let me actually log on. Let me just show you what I've ordered. <laughs> Right here is the WL Toys official store on AliExpress. The brand is WL Toys. They've been making remote control stuff for quite some time. They make cars, planes, boats, and um, yeah, this is probably the best place to pick them up because it is the official store. You might pay a little bit more than you would from a few other stores, but I just generally prefer to buy from AliExpress from official stores if their prices are fairly reasonable. Um, let me just go to all of the items and put them in uh, order of price so these are the most expensive items ten thousand dollars for that one i don't think so um that must be a mistake um here is their most expensive one i'd love to pick this one up at 167 dollars i'm not ready to spend that sort of money on these things um this is the one that i bought let me just open that up and um yeah i'll show you a couple of other ones that i've just bought actually in the sale i've bought um this one it's a sort of a drift truck and then a rally car and these things are what forty dollars each um, again, they come with LiPo batteries and a charger and a controller. They're all ready to run. I think they go around 30 kilometers an hour, which is just going to be insane if you run these things indoors. Um, but yeah, I bought a couple because, you know, for me and my daughter to play with. Um, anyway, this is the one that I bought. Um, it is a version two. These orange ones are all the version twos. And then you've got some version ones down here. I think these have brushed motors. Um, and you can buy them with different um, batteries. So if you want more batteries, more runtime, then you can spend a bit more. The version one is $80 for the basic kit, one battery, controller, charger, car, and then the version two is $100, so an extra $20. Um, I think the, the newer version is worth it just because you get that brushless motor. And um, yeah, I mean, if you like to go really, really fast and who doesn't, um, it's definitely the one to get. And if you scroll down, you're gonna see comparison um, sort of promotional material and then it gives you quite a lot of information about the cars and then if you keep scrolling down you'll get to the version one here it is look um this is the version one so yeah um very cool stuff um let's just go and have a look at the other two that i've bought um scroll down and have a look yeah here's a comparison between these two yeah 30 kilometers an hour look and these are little 128 scale cars these things are going to be tiny they're going to be about this big Going 30 kilometers an hour, that is just going to be insane. I hope it doesn't do that in the house. That will be carnage, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm hoping you'll be able to turn down the speed. Um, yeah, um, brushed motors. That is a brushed motor by the looks of it. Again, um, metal chassis look. Very cool. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, let me know. 18 minutes run time. Damn. Wow, that's pretty cool if that's true. I oh, can't wait. Right, guys. Um, yeah, I better get back to um, reviewing some watches, hadn't I? I just thought, you know, we'd have a little break and I'd show you something really, really cool that I picked up. Blame the patrons. They made me review it.